Hey everybody, this is Paulus here with another Starter Made Fleet Review. Today we have Iron Golems Fleet. Uh, so let's take a look around. Uh, only two, two, uh, two ships in this fleet, so it should be a little bit uh, shorter, though there are, I already can see uh, right off the bat, some stuff that might take me a little bit longer to to want to showcase, but yeah, let's start off with the she uh, yeah, the, the ships, not the fleets, sh fleet ships, ships, fleets. Uh, it's a nice tongue twister, sort of, sort of, just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I think the first thing I want to point out is these ships look really awesome. Um, even though they're made of really, really, really basic shapes that are just kind of smashed together in uh, <laughs> smashed together in nuanced ways, if that, that makes any sense. But yeah, right here you just have this, uh, let me get the, the cursor out, you have this rectangle right here, uh, and you have right here then this triangle, um, it sort of juts out into, and then you extend it with beams down here to this wing, uh, this wing which looks just fabulous, um, and then uh, just slapped on you rectangles held together by scaffolding, um, etc. And on this one, uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but you have this rectangle. Uh, yeah, the main body of this ship right here is just really just a rectangle. Um, and then uh, positioned next to it is uh, the, the gun with the sort of engine area, not for the gun, not, not engine, but like uh, energy collection. I don't know, what, whatever you'd call that area. Uh, for the gun, the systems of the gun, um, and then you have these little wing areas that, uh, or, or hull, armor hull plating that uh, plates around these tubes um, connected to the ship by this sort of, this arm um, over here, all, all that's patched together by the scaffolding uh, with these engines slapped on the back and then this wing. But like the ship, the ship just looks awesome, like that's just to say how simple the shapes are, and all the ship sim uh, simple shapes, I can't speak today, simple shapes, simple shapes, that's fun, uh, but uh, the, all, all these, these simple shapes are just kind of uh, placed together in really cool ways, like this freighter just looks just looks awesome, and I think it's it's helped together by the fact uh, with these, these slabs that are different blocks than these slabs going across, if that makes sense. Um, and so the, the detailing is there, right? You have the uh, lattice of this hard, uh, excuse me, uh, advanced armor. You have the lattice um, as long, uh, alongside the flush sort of armor from the standard armor. So let's head on inside. Uh, where is the door? Here is the door. Uh, so yeah, really cool inside. I like it a lot. Uh, the use of piping is fine. Um, uh, cool, cool little uh, computer systems right here. Nice use of the piping, um, especially these beams going across. I always like slab beams going across. Um, and the lighting also works. I know a lot of times I say lighting uh, with different colors besides white, just use the original color. But I think it works in this situation because it's kind of minimal. Uh, let's go down here to the airlock. Oh, wait. What is this? Nice. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So the edge of this ship is right here. Nice. This section can be removed and added, and has a USD here, uh, which means it can be quickly probably swapped from ship to ship. Uh, I like that a lot. And of course, there's cargo uh, in here. This hallway could be spiced up a bit, uh, though. Uh, yeah, to this standard. Spice this hallway up to this standard. Um, and I think I'll, I'll give that part of the ship an A plus instead of just an A. Uh, this this uh, this elevator looks looks pretty cool. You have these different colors right here along with the uh, the beams going down. So this is of course what the elevator would look like uh, going up and down. Uh, very nice, very nice elevator. It's always good to have the sort of details to distract the eye. And here we have the cockpit. Ooh, what's up here? Sleeping beds. That's awesome. Uh, I know sometimes in like really large trucks, like, there's actually like, like sleeping areas like in the top, um, which is pretty pretty cool uh, stuff. And so this ladder is very cool, um, and I like this. It's a simple cockpit, but it does its job. It's a good cockpit. Uh, yeah, let's head on in here. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where? Where are you, door? I can't see you, door. This is the mean door. Um, door, I found you. That's kind of odd. I don't know what that's all about. Um, yeah, this section should have been made 
uh, similar to that section because it looks a little bit weird from here. That definitely could have could have helped the shape. Um, I would say with the engines, the engines are a bit dark for the rest of the build. Uh, I mean, definitely use the black, but not maybe as much. Uh, I mean, we probably experimented on that a little bit, but uh, just my two cents. Of course, I wasn't the one that like went through the process of building it. Uh, so let's head over here. We have bed area. I am not sure. Server room, something like that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this goes out to the outside. Um, Ooh, cargo container right here. That's nice. That's nice. Let's head up this ladder. Uh, I like the color change of below and above. That's very nice. Very nice. And in here, uh, looks very cool. I'm not sure what this room is supposed to be. Uh, I like the use of the glass with this, though I would say you could uh, fix up this sort of panel right here. Um, uh, it's sort of just all slapped together. I like it when, uh, I like it a lot when. Uh, systems are sort of incorporated as like computer modules um, into the ship that looks that looks very cool and it's honestly not terribly hard to do this cockpit similar to the other one uh, it's a little more spacious due to the uh, location it's placed in as well as like where other stuff has to go around it but similar cockpits so I'm not going to say much about it uh, so this was a short video due to only two ships though I feel like I, I actually got through a lot uh, hope I think it was uh, one of my more educational uh, videos actually talking about the, the shape placement um, of the ships as long alongside uh, uh, these sort of beams um, you can get a really cool industrial look um, even though this isn't this fleet isn't more one of the more industrial looking fleets I've seen uh, you can uh, if you have really really tiny detail um, in the fleet so like like this area right here this area is what I call like tiny detail if the entire fleet is covered with it but in a in a way that works right sometimes when it's just covered and covered like the engines have a lot of small detail um then it just looks messy but if you if you do it in a way that works then it looks really industrial especially if you're using the scaffolding um and and sort of these these beams right here then you can make it look um very sort of uh industri industrial and it's not not very like makeshifty per se although you can get that effect but you can get uh some cool industrial looking um, effects, especially with like little winglets. These this winglets pretty nice, along with the camera. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I don't know how much you'd be able to see outside this camera. Um, probably a lot because I can't exactly like get it perfect. But if you're dead on, then you wouldn't see the sprites um, of that. So, so this video is probably extending longer than it needs to. Oh, this gun is really nice. Sorry, I'm always distracted by things. Um, but good work uh, using the crystal armor here. Um, I like that a lot. See, this this builder is just kind of creative, um, which is which is a nice and and oh, use of tanks in places in places that you have space, sort of uh, dimmer colored. Of course, yellow isn't a dim color, but like it's not lit up, right? So it's sort of dim. Uh, tanks are always nice, and make sure you fill the space with a tank. If you have a tank that's like almost big enough but doesn't really fill the space, then it kind of looks weird. But so fill the space with a tank. Um, and I think I think that can really um, augment an area on a fleet uh, build or on a spaceship build. But that's about it. I think I believe I'm um, just to make sure. Yes, Iron Golem's first fleet submission, and I think only one that made it through. I don't know if you made multiple uh, fleet submissions or not, but very nice fleet. Uh, hope you all like the video. If you like the video, then definitely subscribe. If you subscribe, then definitely like this video and like many more. Uh, there are going to be a lot more videos coming out. Uh, hope you stay tuned, and I'll see you later.